Gang! What up, Smart Rapid Gang? Today we're gonna talk about the vital things you must do or that you really should do as soon as you release a song. And the reason I'm actually making this video is because I just made a remix of a song and these are the things that I immediately did because I wanted it to gain as much traction as possible. And in this video, I'm gonna show you proof of all the things I did so you know that these are the smart things to do. I'll also be doing this for every song that I'm going to be releasing monthly starting, well, now. Every month I release a song and I immediately do these things to get the momentum going. If you want to see how many views my remix is at already, I'll put a link below for you. Now, if you do this right and you don't skip any steps, you're not lazy about the marketing, you'll probably gain anywhere from 1,000 to 10,000 views within the first couple days of releasing your song. Let's go ahead and get into it. By the way, I'm Rob Level. This is Smart Rapper. We're over 100,000 subscribers here. Please hit that subscribe button for me. I release a new video every single day to help you get smarter. I'm going to go really in depth here so you can understand the importance of these things. And these are things that a label would do for for you, so I'm gonna help you understand what you need to do for yourself, Whoa. as well as show you examples of how I did it myself. The number one thing you actually need to do, and you can do this before you release a song or after you release a song. Now, what you're going to want to do for your song is you're going to want to take your video, it. whatever it is, and hopefully you already have a video for your song because you should have a video. It's going to increase the chances that somebody likes your music. So, if you have a video for it or even a lyric video, which is very easy to make, you need to convert the video so that you can post it across all platforms. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, every platform has its own type of dimensions and setup. For example, you're gonna need the right video for your Instagram profile. You're gonna need the right video for your Instagram story because they're two different things. And then you need one for your Snapchat. The Instagram story one you create can be used on Snapchat as long as it's shortened from 14 seconds down to 10 seconds. So you need an Instagram story one right under 14 seconds. You need a Snapchat one that's right under 10 seconds. And then you need an Instagram profile one that's a square. Now, if you don't know how to do this, I have a video on this that shows you how to make the banners for them, and you can use the same thing, just change the dimensions to have more height. I'll put the link to that video below. You can check it out after this. Number two, this is obvious, but I want to make sure that you don't miss any of the steps. Yeah. You need to make sure that if this is your new song, that you make sure that it's across all major platforms. This is so that if anybody likes your song and they have a preference of which platform they use, that they can look for your song and they can find it. There's been times where I liked a song from an artist, and and I went to look for it on Spotify, couldn't find it, whoop, forgot about the artist. Don't let that happen to you. Upload it to SoundCloud, upload it to YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music, well really anywhere that uh, DistroKid will upload it for you in one bulk movement. I use DistroKid since they are awesome and also they paid for some of the videos in support of this channel. I believe that they have the best service because for like 20 bucks you can upload unlimited songs for the whole year while places like TuneCore require you to pay $10 for a single, $50 for an album a year. That's ridiculous. So if you use my link, you actually save money when you sign up for it. So I'll put that link below too. Very important one right here. And if you don't know this, you need to know this immediately. Get on SubmitHub.com. SubmitHub.com is a place where a lot of music blogs, Spotify playlists, and podcasts and radio shows actually are set up to accept music from people like you. And the reason I really like SubmitHub.com is because they have an option where you can force the blog or playlist curator to have forcibly listen to your song. So if you use a credit, they have to listen to at least 60 seconds of your song. They might like it. Usually if you send a song to a blog, they don't have to listen. But if you have a credit on SubmitHub, it forces them to listen for that amount of time. It's pretty cool. On top of SubmitHub.com, I also recommend that you get my 200 hip hop blogs email list because I have handpicked all of the blogs emails. You can send them emails. And it also comes with me interviewing some of the top hip hop blogs asking them on how people can get posted on hip hop blogs and why they post people on hip hop blogs, how they choose those people. Remember if the right Remember if the right blog or playlist posts you, <laughs> you could gain thousands of fans instantly depending on the size of the audience on that blog or playlist. I mean, think about Rap Caviar. You get on Rap Caviar, you're guaranteed at least two to three million streams a week just from being on the top 50 list. Now that you have your song materials ready for marketing and your song is posted up everywhere, now it's time to start promoting this bad boy, okay? You wanna get as much momentum as you can right when it goes out so that you can really not only feel better about you promoting the song from here on out and you see the results of the marketing so you're excited to keep promoting it, but you also want to make sure that you get as many views on, as possible So every time somebody comes to your video, it has social proof and they, they're like, oh, this already has 5,000 views Oh, okay, who is this dude? He's got 5,000 views in a week? You look better, so they may become a fan easier Some of this may seem obvious, but again, I don't want you to skip any of these and they're very important, okay? Number one, post on your personal Facebook page. Duh, right? But check this out. Post a screenshot from your video or your lyric video 
as the actual picture instead of posting the video link. And then is what you do is you actually post the video link as the first comment, okay? The reason you do this is because since Facebook has been trying to get people to stay on Facebook for views and retention time for their business and their growth, they actually stopped organically letting people see YouTube links. So if your YouTube links in your main post, they actually stifle the amount of people that see it that are your friends and people on your page. So post a screenshot, post a thing saying, hey, here's the link to the YouTube video. It's gonna be the first comment. Check that out. That's what you do, you post the first comment. Number two, post on your Facebook fan page. If you don't have one, why not? Go make it right now. It's free. Start driving your fans there. Three, take the link to your song on YouTube or SoundCloud, wherever you want to post it, and put that inside of your Instagram bio, all right? And then inside your description, say, new song or whatever, and tell, give people a reason to go down and click it, okay? Number four, take that marketing material I showed you how to use and put it into your Instagram story. And you can use this every time you market it. It's going to be a snippet of your video. It's really cool. You also look professional because not everybody knows how to do this. But I show you in that video. I have the link below. Also, inside of that post in your Instagram story, tell people the link to this is inside of my bio. Then you want to take the square one and you want to post that on your Instagram profile page. Then you want to take the shortened version of the Instagram story one and post that to your Snapchat. These are the marketing materials you can consistently recycle and keep posting so that you start gaining traction on your song. Now what's happened is everyone who would potentially organically see your song has now seen it. Okay, so all of your fans everywhere have now seen your song. That's a must. Now you need to take it to the next level. Now we're gonna talk about how to make sure that more people than just your organic reach sees. And when I say organic reach, it's people who see it when you just make a post, right? Because you could have 3,000 friends on Facebook, right? Or 3,000 people on Snapchat, but all of those people don't happen to see it because they may not see your profile at that time. Facebook may not, may not have shown it to them. It may not have come up in their feed. Like that happens. So you need to reach those people who already know your name, potentially are fans of you or their friends or the family you want to show them. Those people need to be reached next because they're the easiest ones to convert into people who are going to like and share your song, right? For one, since it's the easiest one to do, I actually did this and I highly I highly recommend that you do it too, even though it's a lot of people to do it to, but it adds up fast, is you're gonna want to manually send that video in bulk batches of 20 to 30 people on Snapchat. And I'm talking about you upload it and then you go boop, 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 type all those people in the A's, then you move to the B's, then you move to the C's, then you move to the D's. Yeah, you're putting the work in and it may, it may seem like that's stupid. What do you mean it's stupid? These are people that are gonna be, potentially be like the people who share your song and become more of a fan of you. I don't care. I, I, at the level I'm at too, I don't care. I wanna make sure nobody gets missed because they're already fans of me and they may potentially share it to five different people. What are you doing? You gotta do this stuff, guys. Another quick tip there, when people engage with it or they send a message back, they say, haha, this is great, or oh, I love this line. Make sure you respond back to them. Build that relationship more. It adds up, trust me. Number six, post your song on Reddit in the right subreddit. You're guaranteed to gain at least about 20 views just from that. But hey, that's 20 people you may not have ever had before. Number seven, post the Square Instagram profile page one on Twitter, okay? And I'm gonna give you a really good tip right here. You're actually going to want to post it to Twitter once an hour and then delete it after you posted it. And you're like, Rob, why would you do that? Well, the reason is that the average lifespan of a tweet on Twitter is about 17 minutes, meaning that if that person isn't on Twitter in that 17 minute window of you what? posting that tweet, they're not gonna see it. Realistically, you could upload it and delete it every 20 minutes, but I'm recommending every hour. So what's gonna happen is, is everybody who's online in that hour is then gonna see your tweet. You delete it, it's like it never existed. Okay, you post it again, everybody's on in that hour is gonna see it and they're gonna retweet it or whatever they're gonna do and then you delete it. Now, if it doesn't get a bunch of retweets, it's fine to delete it because chances are you didn't get a lot of engagement. Now, the one that gets the most engagement, you can pin that to the top of your profile, right? But you can still keep posting it and then deleting it and posting and deleting it. It may sound stupid, but this works very well. You wanna make sure you're reaching every person who's following you so that they can see the song. Number eight, if you have an email list, send it to your email list. Now, if you don't know what an email list is or you don't have an email list, I have a free course, 100% free, on how rappers and music artists can build their email list because it's very vital. This is the way that you are going to be able to start making money from your fans that you start growing on this email list, as well as a way that you can immediately reach them with new songs. Because imagine this, if you have 10,000 fans on your email list and they love your music, every time they receive an email from you, they open that email and they go right to your song. Okay, that goes straight into their phone. They don't have to see you on YouTube that won't show it to show you to them. 
or they don't have to see you on Facebook, they might not show your music to them. You have to get an email right into their inbox on their phone that they look at every day and they can click to your song. So an email list is very important. Free course, link below. Now, up to this point, all of these strategies are 100% free. It just comes down to you hustling and actually taking the time to do it. So remember, the best place to gain fans from is to go somewhere where there's fans of artists that you sound like. All right, so if you sound like Drake, market your music to Drake fans. Go to Drake Facebook groups. Go to Drake's Facebook page, his fan page, his Instagram. Start conversations with people, okay? This is how you're gonna gain fans. They already like his music, they'll probably like yours too, right? Start gaining these fans. 10 new fans a day, because if you're doing this, it's 300 new fans at the end of the month. 300 fans you didn't have before. Stop thinking like this is something stupid. This is how you gain a fan base. Now, I have a three hour video course that shows you over 130 different music marketing ideas and strategies of places you can go and start gaining fans that you probably never thought of. Things that I've learned over the years and from tons of books that I've read on marketing, okay? I'll put a link below for that. Now, number 10, in this case, this song was a remix, so I didn't do it for this, but I did do it for Way Up, which is at a million views already, partially because of what I'm about to mention, and also gonna do it for Spray and all my new songs that I'm releasing you know, next month and every month after that. What you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna hire somebody to push your music to Spotify playlists. I use a service called Playlist Push with Way Up and they got me on tons of Spotify playlists. Because what they do is they'll take your song, if it's good, they don't accept everybody, and they'll be like, okay, we can market this, and they'll start spending time marketing your song to all the playlists that they have relationships and connections with. If you wanna use them, they'll actually hook you up with a deal because I've already built a relationship with them and I'm gonna be using them all the time. I already told them, look, bro, I got a new single coming out every month, bro. Hook me up with a deal, bro, because I'm gonna be releasing these songs all the time. So if you go to them and you say, Hey, Rob Level, the smart rapper sent you, they're gonna hook you up with a deal, okay? That's not free, but it's worth the money. And if you are a business, you're established as a business, you can write that off on taxes, okay? If you don't know what that means yet, don't worry, but it is tax writable because it's a marketing expense. I'll put their email below for you so you can contact them. Now, all this stuff in this video may sound basic, but it's very important that you do all this stuff. This is the groundwork. Then from there, you start marketing the song every day and it gains more and more and more and more momentum. You gain more and more and more fans. Don't you ever stop. You are completely unstoppable until you stop yourself with this, okay? Keep marketing every day, keep gaining new fans. Please hit that subscribe button for me, I appreciate it. But lastly here, I'm gonna go over the list of all the links that I have in the description for you so you can check those out so you don't forget. Number one, how to add banners to your Instagram videos and your Snapchat videos for those marketing materials. Number two, my special DistroKid link, which is just smartrapper.com slash DK for DistroKid. And that'll give you a discount if you sign up. My free how to build an email list course for musicians and rappers, that's free too. My 136 music marketing ideas three hour video course, link below. The email for Playlist Push is below as well. Make sure you tell them that I sent you so you can get a discount. And if you wanna see how many views my new remix song is already at in like, well right now it's less than 24 hours, I'll put the link below for you there. You can check that out. Just became a little bit smarter, okay? Please comment below which ones of these tips are you going to make sure that you utilize, okay? And which ones of these were you maybe not doing, okay? A lot of them may seem like simple things, but all of these things matter. Click those links below, please hit subscribe. Make sure you leave that comment, all right? I appreciate y'all. Keep hustling, gang. I'll see you at the top, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video.